With a political stalemate looming in Washington, Arizona's growing progressive movement is looking to change our state's political landscape. Reporter Anthony Mitchell spent the weekend learning about the rise of democratic socialism in the Valley. I still have a bumper sticker on my car. Um, the car has not been damaged, but it wouldn't have surprised me. Sun City retiree Bettina Antle has no problem showing up six hours early to be first in line for the Bernie Sanders rally in Mesa, but creating a dialogue with her neighbors can feel impossible. The Bernie people were hiding in the closets, literally, because when you would mention his name if I went to the pool or something, people would speak in low voices like this. It's the opposite for college students like Nathan Clark. He finds it tough to find folks to debate. Well, Tempe is very blue with the campus on it, so pretty much everybody I know is very pro-Bernie. Very few. Hillary's probably the next second. I know almost no Trump supporters. At a full house in the Mesa Amphitheater, people were eager to hear DNC Chairman Tom Perez and Sanders speak about a new national unity campaign. We're going to stand up. We're going to fight back. They're calling the fact that the Affordable Care Act is still in law a victory, and they looked for ways moving forward to capture the enthusiasm that the Sanders camp brought during the primaries. The newly formed Arizona chapter of the Democratic Socialists of America has taken this enthusiasm to another level. Organizer Jake Bell wants to take the stigma out of the S word. The idea of democracy is by the people. Socialism is government for the people, and so by the people, for the people, you find that in, in the founding fathers' words themselves, that that's what we are. It was one of several progressive organizations marching for science this Saturday, but they know it's a long walk to legislative wins in 2018. In Phoenix, Anthony Mitchell, Cronkite News.